We wanted to make sure that we provided for all the citizens of San Antonio to diversify if drought made us subject to cutbacks. Well, I think we are positioned uniquely in Texas to where we have a source of, of water that we can use to, to desalinate. They chose Tetratech as the design engineer, and we were able to bring a very experienced team that could lead with science for the design of this facility. So we designed this plant using 3D modeling or BIM software, and one of the benefits of that software is it allows you to design all of your different design disciplines on one platform. It also speeds up our design process and allows us to preview these facilities to the client. So this facility is inland, and when you're talking about treating brackish groundwater, it's much more challenging to do as opposed to being coastal. Just to get the water out of the ground is quite a feat because the water is over 700 feet below land surface. So to make it drinkable, we use reverse osmosis technologies. The reverse osmosis process actually uses a semi-permeable membrane to separate fresh water from the salty water supply source. So a typical brackish water process about four out of every five gallons gets converted into fresh water. So one out of every five gallons would become that concentrate waste stream that would have to be disposed of. To dispose of the concentrate is very expensive. They have to drill deep injection wells that are about a mile deep into the ground. So for this project, we actually cut that in half. If we went from one gallon per five to half a gallon per five gallons, or a recovery rate of about 90%. That higher recovery rate is probably the largest high recovery municipal reverse osmosis system in the U.S. SAWS came to Florida and toured several facilities that Tetratech had designed and, and got to see some of the labs that we had done on those projects. We incorporated some of the feedback from those tours into our design charrettes that we did for this job. So inside the skater room, we combined control and operations for two facilities. On one side of the room, you'll see the aquifer storage and recovery plant control consoles and from there they can monitor everything that's going on at that facility and then for the brackish desal plant it's a much more automated facility because of the complexity of the treatment process so the operators still have to watch over and make sure that everything's running smoothly. SAWS wanted to use this facility to help with their public education and public outreach. We designed the facility with a public access area that allows guests and, and visitors to come tour the plant and they can see the entire facility on the inside of the building without stepping into an operating area. I've been working with SAWS for 20 years now and throughout that whole time they have been planning far into the future for their water supplies for the city of San Antonio. Just recently SAWS put out their new master plan and the CWIP project, the Central Water integration pipeline project will help take SAWS into the future. CWIP is unique in the fact that we're bringing in water from Burleson County from 142 miles away. Tetratech is our lead designer. They have a team of engineers that are focused on both the chemical aspect of it, because this water does need to be treated, the civil part, the electrical, everything that we need to make sure that this water gets put into the system effectively. The project consists of a 48 MGD treatment plant, which treats the water to match the water quality in the existing SAWS distribution system. The project also includes 25,000 linear feet of pipeline and upgrades and expansions to three pumping and treatment storage facilities. With the CWIP program project coming online, um, SAWS is pretty set for the next 70 years for water.